Hi everyone, um, my name is Pentea. I'm really excited to be here today because I just recently turned 20 years old and I thought what better way to kind of reflect on my birthday than to think about all the things I've learned um, before I turned 20. So this video is going to be 19 things I've learned in my 19 years of life. And I know that I'm the young one and I'm supposed to be learning from you, but um, I thought it would be really interesting to see what you guys would maybe connect with, what you guys could relate to, um, and yeah, maybe turn the tables for, for one day. Um, so the first thing I have on my list is treat your body with kindness. Um, I did like lose a little bit of weight a few years ago, um, and I'll get into that later of like how I did it. There's more things in the list about it, but no, I learned the biggest lesson I learned from that, um, like losing the weight and all that is just treating my body with kindness, listening to my body. Um, is it hungry? Is it thirsty? What does it need? So yeah, just, just being nice to it and knowing that it, it protects you and it's like a vessel for, for you. So treating it nicely. Two would be to invest money and time into things or people that make you happy. Nothing is more important than being happy and surrounding yourself with people that make you happy. So if those people or things make you happy, invest in them in, in whatever way that would mean. Three is to drink more water. Um, it's good for your skin. It's good for your health. It's good for everything. Um, there's no cons to drinking more water. Um, four would be, it's really difficult to love someone else if you don't love yourself. Um, and that's a really good, I think, general idea that like many people have had, especially after they get into their first relationship or whatever it may be. Um, yeah. And five, it's better to shoot your shot and miss than to not shot at all. And this goes for, you know, people you're interested in, friendships you want to have, jobs that you want to apply to. I've learned that the worst that can happen is they say no. Um, but the fact that you tried is, is the most important part. Um, for number six, I have, it doesn't matter how tired you are, wash your face at night. Um, this is an important one, whether you have makeup or you don't, whether you already, you know, showered that day or didn't, just cleansing your face at night, putting some moisturizer on it, just taking care of it, treating your skin with kindness as well as your body. For number seven, I have, you're going to distance yourself from people you once considered your close friend and that is okay yeah friendships come and go um there's nothing wrong with that people grow people change um it's just important to remain respectful and and, and part your ways if that's the case um for number eight i have you can't expect something from someone when you don't do the same for them just whatever you want in your life you have to kind of portray that in a way and and make it known that that's what you want um, number nine, I have stop taking Advil on an empty stomach. I learned that the hard way. My stomach hurt for a little bit. Uh, yes, always eat something. Um, 10 is food is a great way to connect with people and form relationships. And it is, it's, it's a cultural connection. It's a comfort um, connection, whatever it may be. Just cooking for someone, cooking a meal for someone is, is a really big, almost like a love language. Um, for number 11, I have calorie counting and tracking is a waste of time. This goes back to my weight loss, but don't get lost in the numbers. Just focus on eating healthy foods, getting your exercise and treating your body with kindness. That's the most important thing. And it's going to be the most long lasting thing I find. Um, for number 12, I have don't compare yourself to people you don't know. You don't know their life. Comparing is already like a... A tricky situation um, but to compare yourself to people who you don't know and you don't know their circumstance it's it's a recipe for disaster I find um, for number 13 I have your parents are really amazing treat them like so and yeah I, I mean I love my parents so I I just try to treat them with love as much as I can um, and yeah hopefully it's the same in your life uh, for number 14 I have always thirst for knowledge you can never learn too much whether that's in academia whether that's with experiences and people you meet, um, it's always a good thing to, to know more than to know less. Um, for number 15, I have being feminine is never a bad thing. As someone who loved the color pink when they were small and has always been uh, a traditional like girly girl, it's never a bad thing. Being feminine is not a bad thing. Being masculine is not a bad thing. Just own what you have basically, own, own how you are. 
Um, for number 16, I have cats are better than dogs. I know this is controversial. I know I used to be a dog person when I was younger, but just meeting cats throughout the years, I think I've learned to identify with them more in, in the way I live my life. For number 17, I have nonfiction books are actually good. Um, I used to only read fiction. That's probably the same for a lot of kids, but no, I actually recently got into nonfiction books and I think they're really interesting, especially like biographies I find learning about people is really interesting. Um, and number 18, I have capitalism is actually really bad. Um, yeah, I guess that kind of goes with like thirsting for knowledge, but just reading about um, different things in school and everything, I, I found that maybe the model we have right now isn't completely the best. I'm, I know it's controversial. And then for number 19, I have learned to appreciate the small things in life. And that's definitely come with the circumstance we're in now. But yeah, just just appreciating the small things that people do or the situations you're in, I think that'll just make your life that much happier. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, those 19 things. I hope you related to some of them. Um, and yeah, I'm, I encourage you to think of your own things that you've learned in your life throughout the years. And yeah, hopefully you can spread that knowledge to other people.